Is your Windows 10 start menu looking like this? When you expect it to look more like this. Your start menu has gone full screen and there are a couple of reasons why this might have happened. I'm going to show you how to get the start menu back to normal and how to make sure it stays that way. By far the most common reason a computer ends up with a full screen start menu is that it's in tablet mode. This is designed to make Windows 10 easier to use on touch screens. So how do you know if you're in tablet mode? Well other than the start menu being in full screen, you'll also notice that you can't close the start menu and you can't get to your desktop. You might also notice that you can't see your favourite apps along the taskbar. If you want to get out of tablet mode, look for the action centre icon in the lower right of the screen. Click on it to open the action centre. Look for the quick action icon for tablet mode. If it's turned on, it will be highlighted with a colour. Click on tablet mode to turn it off. You should notice that your apps are back on your taskbar, your desktop is back, and most importantly, your start menu is no longer full screen. Don't forget though, if you have a laptop with a touch screen, it might be turning into tablet mode automatically when you hold it in a certain way. Here's how you prevent your computer from switching automatically. Click on the start menu and open settings. Go to system, then tablet mode. Look for the setting when I sign in. Change this to use desktop mode. Then look for when this device automatically switches tablet mode on or off. Change this to don't ask me and don't switch. And of course, if you ever feel the need to use tablet mode, you can always turn it on yourself manually by going into the action center. Now, what if that didn't work for you? Well, tablet mode isn't the only reason why Windows 10 can end up with a full screen start menu. Let's look at another factor that might be causing it to go full screen. Open the start menu and click on settings. Go into personalization, then start. Look for the setting, use start full screen. This should normally be switched off, but you might find it switched on. If it is, switch this off, then close settings, and you should find that the start menu has gone back to normal. I'd really like to know which of these two fixes worked for you, so please let me know in the comments below. Whichever way worked, please give this video the thumbs up, and if you'd like to see me solve more problems like this in future, please hit the red subscribe button. Thanks for watching.